no universe, don't give me anger. I don't want that. I don't want that emotion. No, just give me love. Oh, you mean it's a part of life? You mean I got to feel anger? And then if I feel it, then I can feel other things as well? Okay, well, maybe it's not so bad anymore. Anger in our culture has a really bad rep. Anger is not accepted as an emotion in our culture. And when we don't accept something, it can get suppressed, repressed, and it, it sticks to our body and it, 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 gets, it blocks our energy flow. When we attempt to suppress this energy, it's actually going to take energy of ours to keep it down. And you're going to feel more tired when you're trying to keep it down. When we chronically suppress anger, it will inevitably either blow up, as in blowing up at someone we love or lashing out, or if you don't let it blow up, um, it'll come out in like tears of exhaustion. And the reason it comes out in tears is when it comes out, it, there, it expresses itself through your eyes. So if you see someone really angry, sometimes people say they see red when they're really angry. Most everyone walks around with stored anger. I believe that every person needs to do emotional healing. And especially if you become a parent, because now the stuff that you've been passed down from your parents, unless your parents were really mindful, enlightened people, and if they didn't pass you any of their unresolved stuff, then you might not have anything to pass down to your children. I'm going to liken it to an archetype for a moment. So you have the mother protective archetype. You have the, the lover sensual archetype. You have the innocent child playful archetype. You have the defender, the warrior woman. And you have the destroyer, Kali, right? The, the one that knows when something needs to die, when something's no longer useful. That part of you is already within you. Your body operates on it all the time with your moon time. You're clearing and cleansing old blood out. What is anger? It's a surge of life force energy that doesn't feel very good because it's helping you shift back into alignment. It's helping you either stand up and put up a boundary or ask for something you need and, and I'll get into a little bit more of that in a second. Um, but really, it's there. It's a force that is actually helping you to change, to create some kind of change in your life, to become motivated to change. Because if we don't have energy, what are we going to do? We're going to sit around on, on the couch. There goes the day. Another day go by. Another day go by. My life ain't going to change if I never get up and do something. So what's interesting about the emotion of anger is that it is actually um, a higher vibration than fear, than shame, than depression. So if you weren't feeling really great, you're feeling kind of depressed, you're feeling down on yourself in shame, and then you feel anger, this is a really, really, really good sign for you and you've got to let that energy move through you to get um, to a higher vibrational emotion. When you know that, then you can start to befriend anger a little bit more. And like, okay, this is, I'm angry now, so this means I can like really create a change for myself. That part of you that knows, you know, I'm done with this job. I'm done with this relationship. I'm done with being treated this way. You know, I, I need a change, right? So that, that part of you, that, that Kali, the destroyer, welcome her in. Because the more you can get deep into the wrath and the rage and your anger and th that is life force energy just waiting to come out the more you're going to be able to bring in the opposite spectrum the joy the ecstasy the orgasmic energy that you really want in your life you do believe me it, it is the force that is behind your life is how you're even alive and it will help you create the life you desire and go for the dreams that you want. Just a quick note about how sexuality and anger relate. If you've ever not kept your boundaries around sex or they have been violated through rape, unwanted sex, sexual abuse, any of that stuff. Now your womb is actually holding on to anger and that's something I go deeper into about how to cleanse in my sacred sensuality program. So you can always check that out at some point. So you want to release your anger allow it to rise up out of your pelvis so that it's not blocking your flow any longer.